Happy Easter week, dolls. I am so excited. I love, love, love Easter. It is one of my favorite holidays. I have been celebrating Easter in a very big way since I lived in a studio apartment in LA. Yes, I had like 10 people in a tiny studio apartment with this fabulous waffle brunch. We had so much fun. All these years later, I have obviously collected a lot more Easter stuff and I'm actually gonna recreate this waffle brunch again at my friend Robin's house in the Hamptons. We're gonna do a waffle bar with lots of different toppings and I'm in charge of all the decorations and Easter baskets. So for this project, I had to get outside. It was a gorgeous day in New York. The sun was shining, the birds were chirping. It was absolute heaven. So I took all these vintage baskets that I picked up at a thrift store in Ohio and I went to Michael's Arts and Crafts and bought some satin acrylic paint. And the reason it's satin is when it dries, it doesn't have too much shine, which in my opinion makes things look a little more expensive. And when I was putting my color palette together, which is this beautiful pale yellow, this sort of new take on Tiffany blue, and this gorgeous, gorgeous pink color, I was really thinking like lingerie. I first was introduced with lingerie in Paris when I was visiting my friend Ron for his birthday and I love their color palette, I love their macaroons, amazing. So I took all the baskets, got my gloves on, and I just started mixing colors. I added white to every single color because right out of the bottle they were a little too intense. And when you make colors a little paler, they sort of go up on the chic factor a little bit. And when I wanted to create Tiffany blue, I just bought light blue and I added drops of yellow and mixed it. And I kept mixing it and I kept mixing it until the yellow made the blue just ever so slightly blue green. And that gets you Tiffany blue, which I checked on the box. I have the right color, look at my little basket. I mean, I think we did pretty good, huh? I painted all these baskets. Now you're probably wondering why am I painting these baskets? Well, when I go to stores, first of all, Easter baskets are super expensive. Every single one of these baskets, all of them, guess how much it costs? $3.75 for all these baskets that you see here. It's really funny, growing up, my mom would not let us have Easter grass because she hated if she would walk on the floor and pick up a piece of Easter grass with her foot, like it totally flipped her out. So we did not have Easter grass growing up. So I decided to use some Spanish moss and Spanish moss is actually gray and gross, but all I wanted to do was fill the basket so that they would get nice and high. And then also at Michael's, I bought some beautiful moss. And the moss is really soft and I got two different colors so I could mix it up because I wanted it to feel like a terrarium, like kind of that beautiful natural feeling like, you know, if anthropology were to do a beautiful Easter basket, what would it look like? It would have moss like this. Oh. Moss is in, layered the basket. I went to this really fun store in the Chelsea Market and bought different candies, literally based on color palette. Honestly, I'm not really a huge candy person, so for things like this, it just needs to look good. If you, if you have a favorite candy and it happens to be in a color that you like, well then hooray for you. But for me, I just wanted to make sure that the colors work, so I used some saltwater taffy, which I actually don't like, and I used a bunch of like sour things, but they were all these beautiful pale colors that totally worked, mixed them up, and I also did the plastic eggs. The plastic eggs are really fun because you can hide money or other little things in there to sort of surprise your friends. I did one other thing to this table. Basically, I created this runner, and the runner was made out of three dish towels that I got for $6, because runners can be really expensive if you buy them in the store. So I just took the seams out and sewed them all together, and now I have a really nice long runner for $6 and the 20 minutes it took me to sew it. So, not bad. Another really fun tip for this Easter party is to do these fun pom-pom sort of flower balls made out of tissue paper. We've seen these a million times. The reason that I love them is because, again, I can customize the colors and make sure that they fit with my party. Just layer them all, cut them in half. You basically want eight sheets total, and then you do an accordion fold. So you fold one way, you flip it over, you fold the other way, repeat, repeat, repeat. And then I just tied a little piece of baker's twine in the center. And then basically I cut a little scalloped edge, super simple and you separate it. I like to start in the center first. You just pull it up, pull it up, layer by layer by layer by layer. They get nice and full, and we have a beautiful little moment here. You could do tons of these. If you have kids, oh my goodness. This is a fantastic project. They cannot hurt themselves. 
I don't know anybody who's gotten a paper cut on some tissue paper. So you can just let them have at it because the more sort of texture and like not perfect they are, I think the better they look. That is actually all the details that I can think of that I've put together for this Easter party. I am dying to know if you are gonna host a party or contribute to an Easter party or tell me what your traditions are in the comment section because I just love a good excuse for a fabulous brunch and Easter is certainly one of them. So please give me thumbs up on this video if you like some of the ideas that I shared with you and leave me some love in the comment section. And if you like more lifestyle videos, please let me know, all right? Until next time, bye dolls, happy Easter.